Hey everyone, so here I am solving exercise 7.1 of a class 6. This is from the fraction chapter and the question here is write the fraction representing the shaded portion. So this type of questions can come from one mark like a MCQ type but still it is important. Uh, this is going to help us to understand what exactly is a fraction. Okay, so we have a few figures given here. The first one is this. So here whenever you write a fraction you have to understand how many parts are given in the whole figure so here if you observe there are one two three and four four parts are given so when i write the fraction my denominator there will be a four okay because the whole thing is divided into four parts now we have to write how many parts are shaded you can see this part is shaded this part is shaded so two out of four parts are shaded so the fraction will become two upon four now second one same thing just count how many parts are there so there are one two three four five six seven eight nine so in the denominator i write down nine now you have to count how many parts are shaded so oh, except one you can you don't have to count this this portion is not shaded other parts are shaded right so total eight parts are shaded one two three four five six seven eight so the fraction will be eight upon nine now again similarly the next one let's see how many balls are given here so there are one two three four five six seven eight so here eight will come in the denominator out of that how many are colored or shaded one two three and four so it's a four out of eight so the fraction become four upon eight now we have a kind of a circle here here you can see how many parts are given one two three and four so out of four how many parts are shaded only this part one part so fraction will be one upon four next how many parts are shaded or how many parts are given in the fifth figure one two three four five six seven so here in denominator i'll get seven and total parts shared will be one two and three so it will become three upon seven the next one so we have a kind of last here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So out of 12, only 3 are called shaded. 1, 2, and 3. So it's a 3 upon 12. Next. In 7th one, we have total 10 pencils. So in the 10 pencils, you can see all the 10 pencils are colored here. So answer will be 10 upon 10. The next one, 8th one, so we have a triangles. How many triangles are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So out of 9, how many are shaded? 1, 2, 3 and 4. So answer will be 4 upon 9. Now next 2 we have. So ninth one is a petal of flowers. Total how many petals are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So out of 8 petals, how many are colored or how many shaded? 1, 2, 3 and 4. So it is 4 upon 8 last one it's kind of a b or it's a design given to us and here out of you can see two equal parts are given so total part will be two out of that only this side is colored so it's a one upon two so that's it i hope it's clear in case you have any question or doubts you can drop a comment below thank you so much for watching